intrigues you? I love Creighton. I can't wait to see what Doug McDermott does because, frankly, I mean, they're a good basketball team, but they're a great one because of McDermott. And it's always fun when one guy carries a team through March Madness. Can he put that team on its back and win two, three, four games? Can he get to the Final Four? Because if they do... You guys have him on the SI cover this week. It's going to be a little Larry Bird-esque. It's going to be a mid-major, and people are just going to know McDermott and nobody else. They've got the light blue going on, just like Bird did 35 years ago. So that's the guy I can't wait to watch. We appreciate the plug, Damon. Thanks no for problem. mentioning the cover. The real Indiana State analogy is Wichita State. Now, I am fascinated by the Shockers. There is no more interesting team in all of college basketball than Wichita State right now. I will watch every second of every one of their tournament games. You just can't because you don't know. The, the intrigue, they're 34-0, and they're still a mystery. I think they will make the Final Four. That is my prediction, and I would love to see them beat Kansas in a regional final in the Midwest. That would be a lot of fun. Kansas has flatly refused to play Wichita State. They won't even go to the table with them. So I really think Wichita State, sitting there undefeated, is going to be the biggest, most dominant storyline in March. And has any Final Four team the next year gotten less credibility, respect, or expectation yeah. in Wichita State? I mean, I realize they play in a bad league this year, but they went to the Final Four last year, yeah. and they're undefeated, and people are yeah. like, well, I still don't believe in them. Yeah. Like, what do they have to do yeah. to actually get anybody to believe in well, them? Well, I mean, Damon, you can almost draw the parallel, too, about Creighton. Yes, they went to the Big East this year, so Dougie McBuckets got the extra attention, and he also got the extra challenge from playing in a better conference. But does Creighton need a deep run in this tournament, and is there a lot of pressure on McDermott to, he's got all the individual accolades, now does he have to really put it out there for his team? Do they have to go to this, at least the second weekend? Well, sure, the second weekend is a must for them, right? Because if they, Never been there before if they don't get out of the round of 32, that's problematic. I think the, the pressure is not necessarily on Doug McDermott from a national perspective, because college basketball... You know, from a national perspective, we just kind of move on to the next teams. Mm -hmm. From a Creighton perspective, they're never going to get another ch a chance like this with a guy like McDermott, at least probably not for a while. So I think the pressure in-house within that program is, hey, we got a shot here. We're going to take advantage of it. And really, if you look at it from a Big East perspective, Creighton saved the Big East, which if, if someone had said that <laughs> sentence five years ago, you would have you would have you know thrown them in Times Square. Like, I mean, they've been running around like crazy. But Creighton, without Doug McDermott, the Big East, you could argue, is maybe even like a bad league. I think it's mediocre yeah. right now, but without him, they're a bad league. He is their star power. So you have these two dueling tournaments in New York this week, the A-10 and the Big East. The number one, two, three, four, five reason to go to the Garden is to see Doug McDermott. Uh, the heart of the Big East, Omaha, Nebraska. Yeah, <laughs> yes. that's They've sold the most tickets, too, 2,100. Expect a lot of empty seats at the Garden this week. Hey there, SI fans. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our daily live show, SI Now. You can find a link to the complete episode in the description box below. And while you're there, make sure to subscribe to Sports Illustrated's YouTube channel. Remember, you can watch SI Now Monday through Friday live at 1 p.m. Eastern time only on SI.com. We'll see you there.